stay within agriculture. A university graduate, Voss Peter Zuma, is urging the unemployed youth to venture into small ruminant rearing as government seems to have given the sector a boost, having launched a rearing for food and jobs program some weeks ago. Fred Duho has been speaking with Vosbet on the prospects of grass cutter rearing and has come through with this report. And has projected that 40,500 small ruminants, 38,000 pigs, 258,000 cockerels and 660,000 guinea fowls will be distributed to livestock farmers over a five-year period. These include breed improvement, productivity and production, development of infrastructure that is housing, plant and equipment, slaughtering, processing and marketing facilities. This is to give meaning to the Rearing for Food and Jobs program. This means that consumers may enjoy their delicacy on a consistent basis, irrespective of the weather pattern. To help in making this possible at all times, Vosbet Azuma is calling on government to also place emphasis on grass cutter rearing under the new intervention. Vosbet Azuma, a university graduate, reveals the venture is much profitable than other livestock rearing. This is an aspect that the government is not actually paying attention to. Uh, and other private entities are not paying attention to. Uh, government, yes, is, of course, is rolling out the planting for a, a rare for a food and job. And uh, I'm yet to hear about government uh, considering uh, grass cutter as a, a viable venture whereby it can be included in this business. So what I would like to tell government is that, yes, of course, the grass cutter is also a delicacy for many Ghanaians and it's also a special dish. And uh, uh, people love that. It's quite expensive meat. So if the government really wants to also uh, uh, diversify or look at other aspects of livestock, uh, of course, the grass cutter business or the grass cutter animal is uh, one viable business that, that must be looked at without shutting the door on it. So, of course, we cannot continue to rely on the forest or in the bush to hunt these animals. We need to breed them. And uh, this is the only way. Vosbeth Azuma vehemently opposed the need for young people to be idle around looking for white collar jobs. The usual way of getting these animals is to rely on the hunters where they have to set fire to the bush and burn them and chase these animals in the bush. But uh, ideally, this is not the best uh, way to approach hunting these animals. One, it has effect, adverse effect on the ecosystem. It's also contributing to climate change and also affecting farmers as well. So we at uh, Breeders Hub advise that the best way to engage in this breeding is actually rear them in captivity. And we believe that uh, as a breeder who engages in this sort of business, it means you can actually supply all year round. And uh, you know, this meat is actually a seasoned meat where in a dry season where it is common. That's why people actually set fire to the bush. But we don't advise that sort of a practice because it's not the best. The primitive method of setting bushes on fire to be able to catch these animals can be curbed if the intensive rearing of livestock is adapted. Fred Duho's report for Joy Business.